Hey folks, this is Michael Passmore. I'm here in my home kitchen. Chef Tony asked me to show you guys what we're doing with his bacon and our caviar today. So we're gonna start off with some of his bacon here. And of course, we're gonna use some of our awesome steelhead roe. And we brought in some creme fraiche from our friends at Bell Weather Farms, a little bit of local honey. And why wouldn't you top it off with some fresh chives? So follow along today. Hey, all right, first things first. So get your knife out and we are going to open up this lovely bacon here. I mean, look at that. All righty, so I like to get it all up in one little nice little stack here. Let's go about, uh, let's just do it in half, half again and half again. Then we are going to arrange it on a rack on a sheet tray for the oven. I like to do it in the oven because it lets it, the grease fall to the bottom and then we can let them firm up so they make a nice crispy without being too done uh, treat for everybody. So the next thing we're going to do while we're waiting for that bacon to get uh, fixed up there is we're going to let you know on a little tip here, make life a lot easier. So we're going to take this steelhead row, we're going to use one of these handy dandy uh, bags here, get them anywhere, and we're going to put them all in there. It's going to make it so much easier to dispense these when it comes time to put them on the bacon for our bites there. So just a little tip for you guys. And we're gonna do the same with our creme fraiche. So same thing, our little creme fraiche there. We've got our bag, we've already got it turned inside out. And we're gonna open up this here and get it ready for it. Grab a spoon here. And mix her up a little bit. There we go. And then in the bag. You're going to turn that bag inside out there to make it easy to get it all in there. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but uh, no big deal. You probably will too. And put it all in there. These containers aren't too big. Plenty of room for all of it. Go ahead and see how that bacon's looking. Maddie, how's it looking? Let's go see how it looks. Oh, doesn't that look good? Now we're making some headway. Take a look at these. That is all love. Mm. Perfect. Just the right amount of crunch. Not too much, not too little. I'm gonna put these aside here just for a second. And we're gonna get to building these. I like to arrange them just in a nice little scattered look here. All over, a little cutting board here. No big deal, we're not that uh, fancy here. And it makes for easy pickings, easy bites. Fun stuff for you and your friends here. So, just like so. Now, here's the secret ingredient. This is what I was at John Tizar's restaurant there, and we were having some of his bacon. And I was with uh, my good friends, Blondes Who Eat. Uh, take a look at their channel if you get a chance. But we're just gonna drizzle some honey like we did then, and we discovered a tasty bite there. 
this honey's a bugger, but just stay with it and it'll keep uh, keep doing what it needs to. Wouldn't go too heavy. You're just looking for a little accent is all. And just let it keep running there. And the bonus is all the extra honey on your board keeps your bacon in place. My dad always had a song that he'd always sing to our uh, to my sister and I. I eat my peas with honey. I've done it all my life. It may sound kind of funny, but it keeps them on my knife. Same thing applies here. And there you go. Get a nice little dab on there because you're going to want to land your caviar right there in the middle of it. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to do the same thing with the row. And we're just going to put a couple little of them on there. And as my good friend always says, if you find any of these running around your cutting board there, be sure to pop them in your mouth. You don't want to waste any of these. Now we're going to finish it up with those chives that we chopped. Again, don't worry too much about getting them all just perfect. Sprinkle a little few of them. There you go. And you're close to having yourself the perfect party plate right here. <laughs>